Hi, this is Lauren Welch. You know, I've always been impressed with how LEGO does their assembly instructions. So here inside a publisher, I'm going to see if I could duplicate that um, with some of my son's LEGO toys. So what I've done is some standard stuff you've probably seen in publisher before, just going through creating some snapshots and showing how these parts go together. But the thing that impresses me most is their assembly instructions, how they never have any words, they're just pure images. So what I want to do is create my own custom uh, word template to use with Publisher, and I didn't really know how to do that, so what you can do is walk right through the Inventor Publisher help file, and we've got a fantastic help system here in Publisher. So one of the first things you'll notice is I can go right inside the help system, it gives me all the information about well, where the templates are stored, and we're actually going to use tags inside of the Word document, and on top of that it tells me all the tag callouts, and I have a nice video walking me through how to do all of these steps. So now that I've read through this, I've got it all uh, under control, Let's go into Word and take a look at creating this um, custom Microsoft Word template uh, for publisher purposes. So what I've done is just turned on the Developer tab inside of uh, Microsoft Word, and I'm going to create some uh, some component controls. So what I'll do in here is just format the text to bring in information. So on my cover page, I, I want to have the storyboard name. So again, it's pulling information right out of Publisher. And not only do I want to pull the name, but I want it to have a certain, you know, I want it to be black, I want it to be big and bold, I want to change the font size. So I can format all of this um, inside of this content control. Now from here, I just have to set up the tag so it can properly map the information from Inventor Publisher um, into my template. So under the properties, I'll just use that information um, that I got from the help file, so called the storyboard name, and go ahead and uh, update the content control properties with the title and tag name. Now from here, you could add things like you know storyboard number, all those things you saw in the help file. Here, I'm going to keep it simple, just like Lego does it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this and just roll this all on, under the general uh, content control tag of just storyboard. So now that I've got the, uh, the title um, and tag laid out, and I'm actually going to put this as my cover page. Now I just want to bring in the images. And again, the, the real power with this assembly instructions is going to be the images as they come out of Publisher. And I don't want any descriptions, I don't want any notes. So I'm going to add uh, a picture control. So I'm going to go ahead and just put in a, a placeholder image. So in this case, I'll uh, just put a nice Publisher image in there and size it the way I want it to come through in my template. From here, you can use, of course, all your standard uh, you know, formatting tools and I want to name the properties of this control tag as well so just giving it the accurate name and again I'm giving it the uh, the snapshot name in this case to pull from Inventor Publisher but I can also type in the image resolution size so here you can control how those images are coming out of Publisher and being placed directly into uh, your uh, template data or your document that you're going to be producing once that's in there I can just go back into the standard uh, word tools you know, center justify this image and again, from here, I could put in like snapshot descriptions. I could put any initial information I wanted uh, via these uh, content control tags. What I'm going to do is just roll this all up. Again, just simple images. I'm going to roll this all up under one general tag of just snapshot. Let me add those uh, title and tag properties for the content control. And once those are placed in there, I'm just going to save this off as my template. So it's going to grab my snapshots, it's going to grab the image I want, it's going to duplicate that for every snapshot. So I'm going to save that into my templates directory uh, that's referenced by Inventor Publisher. And once that's done, uh, let's take a look and see what we have. So I'm going to save this, close it off. Now back inside of Inventor Publisher, I'm going to go to the Microsoft Word uh, content, publish that to Word. There's my custom template. Save it off as a Word document. So now that that's done, you'll see here in uh, Microsoft Word, there's the title, there's the images, and that's how we duplicate those assembly steps.